So I'm here working on trying to install the spoiler. And as you know, and I've seen, I'm pretty sure you've seen other videos. Uh, Honda actually provided a guide on where to in, drill the holes for the spoiler. As you can see, there's three of them. One, two, and three. And the two that are guided, that are already uh, shown by Honda, are this one and this one. This third one, once I have drilled these two and are accurate, I'm just going to paint or put a white paint on that and then I'm gonna put it against the car and it'll give me an indentation of where I need to drill for this hole so but again I am going to attempt to drill right here as center as possible and drill up here as center as possible I don't know if you can see that it's right there I was trying to take off this strut so I can have a better angle at this but uh, I'm gonna try to work around it I don't find that it's gonna be nearly impossible for me to do it with the strut bar in front of it uh, but if you can and if you have the time you just unscrew this or you could unscrew up here and then you can just let it dangle here while you can get the perfect angle. Um, I'm gonna drill small first with a small drill bit and then I'll be upsizing it and I'll try to get it as perfect as possible. Um, but let's start it. I got my drill bits here. Um, I think the right one, the perfect angle or perfect size, not angle, size, to the bolts that it brings is 1564s 1564s um, so I'm gonna work myself from 764s all the way to 1564s little by little do it slow so that way you can align them perfectly and you don't have to um, mess anything up all right there so I made the small little holes on both of those the third one is gonna be somewhere in here that's why I took off the cap but again I'm not gonna do that right now first I gotta make sure that these two align perfect all right so I just finished drilling it to the right size and this is how it's gonna look you see it goes right through same thing as the top one, goes right through. Um, so now I'm gonna try to bolt the other ones on, do the other side as well, so that way I can bolt it on. So after doing the other side, I bolted one, that one up here, and then this is how that side I was showing you guys looks like. See if this thing can focus. Like right there. That's where the bolt is. And the bolt lines up perfectly with the holes that we just made. Perfect. Perfect. 
Perfect. Putting on the bolts for all four of the ones I drilled. I actually went up to one fourth because at the 1564s, it was way too tight and you had to wiggle it a little bit <clears throat> to be able to screw them all nice and without cross threading them. And that's all of them put together right there. This is how she's gonna look when she's all installed. course I removed the tail light and the chrome so I can um, paint it but I, uh, sponge uh, sanded it so it's just gonna look good when she has it on with all the chrome and stuff and the matching color the fitment is nothing like the eBay ones that's exactly why I didn't mind paying the extra to get it the OEM fitment is great on both sides um, right here I have it tightened because I have the wire for the brake light and this has to be a little bit more tightened but other than that it's perfect perfect fitment you can't go wrong with OEM OEM is the way to go I was debating whether to go buy the eBay one but I knew I wanted OEM and uh, the fitment is way much better than what I've seen than what I've seen with the other ones so I did this before prepping and painting and everything so that way if I scratched anything I could just paint it and take away all the scratches to anything with the wing. Um, I think I'm going to leave it just to two because just with two it looks, it looks firm. I haven't even tightened them but it's pretty firm on there. Um, if I have any issues or anything like that I will throw the third one on there but I think with just two it should be perfectly fine all right well I'll see you guys again once I get to painting the tail light